So this stroller was honestly designed to be your daily driver to and from your house, to go on errands, to go to the grocery store. But if you're planning to take it through TSA, it's totally doable. We've taken our single stroller through TSA. We've now taken our single to double stroller through TSA. And there are some risks involved, but we're planning on doing it again. So let's go over that. When we went through TSA, we used our car seat and our car seat adapter because the destination that we're going to, we're gonna need our car seat. Now, when you go through TSA itself, they're gonna have you break down the entire stroller and that's why having the wheels pop off is very essential because you're gonna need to go through the X-ray machine and this thing doesn't fit through the X-ray machine. So you actually need to take off the wheels. I actually took off the adapters. Obviously you have to take off the seat, but eventually it'll all get through and then it can easily be put right back to together no problem. So once you get through TSA, your next hurdle is going to be getting it packaged up and down to the end of the jetway while probably holding one of your children. Now it's totally doable to break it down and put it in the original bag. You can buy other carrying bags. Those cost a lot of money. So we just chose to go with the storage bag that they sent us. It does have to be packaged in such a way that, you know, it's kind of like uh, Jenga to make it really fit and everything, but it does work. Now, the risk that is involved with this entire thing is that even though we did everything that I felt was perfect, we even double bagged it, it still got completely messed up. Our handle got completely messed up. We left it at the end of the jetway and somehow between the jetway and the plane, it just looks like it got completely dragged by the end of a golf cart, but who actually knows? 